welcome back to Sunday Brunch Live on Channel 4. That track was uh, Keep British Until Money. Can you turn the wind machine down just a touch? Thank you. Uh, we're out in the car park and I, I'm joined by Mandy Pope and Benjamin uh, Shine and a load of London telephone boxes. Why are we surrounded by telephone boxes? What's going on here? And this is for Childline. Uh, so we've got 80 artists who decorated 80, 80 phone boxes in unique ways to raise money for, uh, for the charity. Okay, and how did you both get to design telephone boxes? What's the process? Uh, either artists were, were chosen and asked to, to design something or submitted a design which was chosen by a panel um, from BT or PR company or Childline. Okay, just before we look at the history of the phone box, it was designed in 1935 by Sir Giles Scott. Do you know this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, and so, uh, and it was to commemorate uh, King George the um, Silver Jubilee. So all those years back. So we've decided to to, to do this. Now. This is one of your designs, isn't it? Explain why you did this yeah. one. Well, it's sort of a creative a way of um, exploring what to do with a phone box. So I sort of decided to rotate it on its side, and looking at that, I thought that would make a really cool sofa. So just let everyone, these aren't actual phone boxes you've adapted, you've just taken the, the iconic shape and made it into a design. We were actually given replica fiberglass models to work with and um, basically just carte blanche to go from there. Okay, yeah. um, you've also done another one which has a giraffe's head stuck out. Yeah, it's out. called Long Distance and it's a sort of visual play on the way uh, phones are now visual things. We can see a window into another world, so it's bringing two worlds together, something that's happening a million miles away, a giraffe in the middle of Africa is suddenly slap bang in the middle of London, just as we could be watching that as we're walking down a London street. So that That's was... deep, I love it. Mandy, what is your design? We haven't, we haven't got yours here because it's huge, right? Yeah, 15 feet, it's uh, Big Ben. Big Ben, we're showing a picture of it now, so explain what the concept behind yours is. Uh, with, with this year being the Queen's Jubilee and the Olympics, I just thought, what better way than to turn a British icon into another British icon? So, looking at the shape of the phone box, um, Big Ben seemed like an obvious, um, a, an obvious idea, I guess. So. So um, what are your backgrounds then? What do you, are you an art? Are you both uh, artists? Both or? artists. I'm a, I'm a painter. Um, cityscape. Well, there's about eight different styles that I paint. Um, yeah. I work from sort of fashion, product design, just creative ideas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are these two behind us? Do you know about these two? Um, this one's by Brian um, for the uh, the Jubilee. There's six of these that are exactly the same. Um, they were all placed around for the Queen's Jubilee, um, around Tower Hill. So what's going to happen to these? Where are they? Where can people see them if they want to see them? They'll be all around London, different locations, and then there will be all... This is not going to be around London, is it? This will no. be indoors. I think oh, it's going to be dotted about in, in inside, you know, certain public So they're going to be left alone and people are going to think they can use them, right? Well, the health's in trouble. They will have to, I've seen <laughs> some people trying to get into them, but yeah. Why is the telephone box so iconic? Do you think? Oh, it's just quintessentially British, you know, when you look around the world, at the big cities, uh, so few of them have something that's that's so iconic like this. You said that, Benjamin, the song came out. Do you, know, I, do you think God loves this country? <laughs> You're obviously not from this country, but no. clearly it's the, yeah. it's a great country, isn't it? I, I love it. I've been here eight years. I'm, I'm not you would going never leave now, would you? Soon. No, no. This Hope is you're home. Your taxes. This is home. I am. Uh, <laughs> okay, well listen, so if you want to buy one, how do you go about buying it? Uh, it'll be oh, through yeah, the on the auction. BT Art Boxes website as well too, all the information is there, btartboxes.com. Okay, and how um, much will this go for, do you know, roughly? Well, we, we think hundreds of thousands of pounds. We're trying to raise a million. Trying so to raise a million. We want it to go for as much as possible. Okay, I might put a bit on that for later. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Benjamin. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, now for a look at the new Spider-Man film. It's called The Amazing Spider-Man.